What's poppin'? Jedediah Peace here, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel to see me talk some shit. But, um, yeah, it's been a minute since I posted another video, and I've just been trying to get, like, dedicated, get ready, get focused, pound it out, and get y'all some good content, you know? So, there's just some things I've been thinking about over the past couple of days, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go down here and talk my shit. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> But, uh, let's just so, get into it. As, like, as, like, a gay single man, whenever I do feel like I want to get in the mix and, like, go mingle or whatever, there's just some things that I see and I'm just, like, no, no, that's, that's not okay. One of those being probably the top one that I can't stand next to no blacks, no Hispanics, you know, just it, that's just another that's another issue for another video. You already know y'all y'all already know what's good with that. We're not even mm -mm, put a pin in it, <laughs> but it's definitely going to be no femmes, no girly antics, no I'm sorry. Like, are you really saying, like, let me get you with my good ear. Are you really... That's gross, bro. That's fucking gross. First of all, when you say, like, no... Like, no, no femmes or whatever, like, that's condescending as fuck. Because you're just saying, like, already, just because of a certain way that you are. That has nothing to do with me. Is such a problem that I don't want to get to know you. The operative phrase being, has nothing to do with me. I don't understand what somebody's feminine fucking qualities, their energy, their whatever they do, or however they are. How does that affect someone so bad to the point where it's like, I can't do that. Like, I don't want that. Like, I mean, wanting it is different, but when you like put it on display, like... No femmes, like, no femmes allowed, no girlies allowed, like, no sissies allowed. I'm, you're, you hyper-masculine fucking ape. Like, you're just like, oh, I am man. I don't understand. All right, so just like me and everyone else in the world, your boy loves music. Rap music, I love it. Oh, that was my name. That was gross. Sorry. Rap music, it's my shit. Grew up on it listen to it every every day but then I, like, I listen to a lot of different kind of music i listen listen to everything i love edm i love rock music paramore's my shit Haley williams yes <laughs> but i love like female rappers the shit They're, it's just like a whole different type of rap like a type of empowerment like it's not a lot of male rappers that attract me like female rappers in terms of like lyrics and stories and all that it's just it's just different and i'm not knocking male rappers male rappers are the shit some of my top two rappers are males top two favorite stop playing <laughs> but <clears throat> i just hate that there's a double standard with female rappers everybody gotta admit it let's keep it a ban, is a double standard between female rappers and male rappers because for some reason, people feel like female rappers have to be like these, like these, um, like these robots almost, like these carbon copies of like what a woman is supposed to be. But then oftentimes people forget that they are their own type of person and their own type of woman. Like they are humans. You feel me? So... It's like when a female rapper or really, yeah, like a female rapper is going to keep it with rappers. When they respond to anybody like talking shit, it's like, oh, you're really a bitch. Like you're me. Like you, you shouldn't do that. Like don't pay, da -da -da, don't pay attention to it. It's just not lady. Like it's this and it's that. Hold the fuck up. Because when male rappers do it, it becomes a fucking viral post on the goddamn internet. These niggas make videos about each other. Beefing. And you get mad that she's like a female rapper or anybody says something in a tweet or in a post or likes a post. Like, y'all find that the most shadiest shit. But these niggas can really sit on the internet, make videos about them beefing, 
saying, oh, when I see you, we're going to do the, all of this, all of this stupid shit. But with women, it's like, that's not cool. Um, no. There's like, and it's like, nobody can explain that. I don't, I don't get it. Nobody can explain it. But it keeps happening. And when rappers can like talk about, and I'm not, again, you know, people get caught up in their feelings. I'm not slandering rappers. I'm not like, oh, these niggas is saying shit. Da, da, da. Cause I get bucked like to some rap music nigga. Like I get, <laughs> I get it in. So it's nothing like that. It's just an opinion I got. Like that's all. <sighs> Forgot where I was going. But it's okay. And just like that, another video is done. <sighs> and that's my other, that's my second video for my YouTube channel. It's lit. It feels so good to get some shit out there and, you know, keep making videos and still put my opinions out there. And not even with a specific goal, but just to have fun and just do it. So I'm just really super excited to see where this goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I related to you. But if not, mm -hmm, maybe the next video. I'm trying to get more focused and be more consistent. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about some good content for y'all, you know, definitely, definitely, definitely. So like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your uncles, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your mother, your father, everybody you knew, just tell them to come peep my YouTube channel and let's get it on. All right. Not actually like get it on. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful day. Be popping, be bold, be you, you're the shit. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Okay.